Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows is showing two different drive letters for the same disk on your Windows computer. So basically, if we open up File Explorer here, you can type it in or just off on the little File Explorer icon. You probably don't really need much of an explanation if you know what this tutorial is all about, if you're even looking up something like this. But you can see I have a local disk in here. Basically, if there was another drive that also said local disk, but it had a different drive letter, so instead of saying C, maybe it said D, E, F, or G, instead of the C, but it both said local disk, this tutorial will be able to hopefully resolve the problem for you guys and identify which one is the correct drive and which one might be a virtual drive. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. So just left click on the start button, type in disk management, best match should say create and format hard disk partitions, you want to open that up. The reason why we're going through disk management first is just to show you guys what drive letter actually Windows is installed on here. So you can see my C is underneath disk 0, whatever is underneath disk 0 is the correct drive letter, so local disk C is the correct one in our case. If you also, like I was saying, a different local disk G, F, K, Z, whatever, it would not show up right here. So just to give you guys an idea, so whatever that one would be would be our virtual drive. So the process of removing that, so it should be displayed separately and it should not come up as both the same drive. So same drive name. So in order to substitute it out, we're going to open up the star menu, type in CMD. Best match is a command prompt, right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now at this point you just would type in S-U-B-S-T space and then whatever drive letter you're having the issue with. So assuming C is the good one here, we want to remove the other one. So let's say, even though I don't have one in my case, let's say it was F. So we're going to change that. So we're going to say F and then a colon. So one dot on top of another dot. So again, just keep that in mind, you want to remove, you want to substitute the F drive, and then we want to call it something else, so we just want to do a space in here, forward slash, and then let's put D, and then hit enter. So again, it's an invalid parameter because there is no F drive listed in here, but just to give you guys an idea, so if you had two local disks, one was the C, one was the F, and the C one is the correct one, you'd want to substitute the incorrect one here. So just trying to make that point as clear as possible. And I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.